A House of Delegates district flipped. A recount today put the Democratic challenger ahead of the Republican incumbent in the 94th district in Newport News by a single vote. When a judge certifies the recount tomorrow, Shelley Simons will officially be the delegate elect ready to take over for David Yancey. 13 News Now reporter Chinu Hur spoke with Simons about the come from behind win. Well, guys, coming into this recount, David Yancey had a 10 vote lead on Shelley Simons. According to a political analyst, it's not common for the leading candidate to still come out or it's common for the leading candidate to still come out on top of recounts. So tonight's win he considers a monumental one in more than one way. After thousands of ballots were recounted, all it took was one vote to change the landscape of the General Assembly come January. I think it really proves every vote matters. That one vote propelled Shelley Simons to the 94th District Delegate seat in Newport News. So we can get so much done if we have everybody participating in our democracy. It's monumental because it's a one vote win. And we've had multiple recounts in the last 10 or 15 years in Virginia. The Democratic win now brings the House control to a 50-50 split. That hasn't been the case in nearly two decades. So this is um, a different um, outcome than we're used to seeing in Virginia. Political analyst Quentin Kidd says it appears Democrats have become emboldened in this round of elections as more and more are challenging sitting Republicans. The idea that Democrats would have a wave election that would help them bring this to a 50-50 um, House of Delegates suggests how gerrymandered Virginia really is. Emboldened and victorious. I've watched Watch the process um, as an advocate for environmental issues and for education. So I'm, I'm excited to be a part of it. And ready to represent her district in Richmond. I think people in Virginia are ready for change. All right, the balance of power is still up in the air right now. There are still two races waiting for a recount this week. Chinu Her, 13 News Now. Developing now, a woman is fighting for her life after a shooting in Hampton. And police say this all may have started as an argument. Police say the shooting happened just before 3 on Lynnhaven Drive. 13 News Now reporter Robert Boyd has been on the scene since this evening. He spoke with neighbors about this violent incident. Well, according to Hampton Police, this all began as a domestic dispute. The woman who was shot lives right here on this street behind us, Lynnhaven Drive, according to neighbors, and they say it was her and her boyfriend who were in that fight, and at some point it escalated so quickly, so aggressively, that they both pulled out guns and began firing at one another, according to police. Lynnhaven Drive was shut down for hours Tuesday afternoon. A woman found lying outside her home with multiple gunshot wounds taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. I heard she was shot and bleeding from the chest and the mouth, and I figured she was already gone, but then I heard the news report that she's in the hospital fighting for her life. And Neighbor Randall Mikola says this type of thing isn't supposed to happen on his street. She was married and divorced and then dating this guy, and uh, evidently, you know, uh, I don't know what went wrong. Police say the woman was in a domestic dispute. Both individuals pulled out guns, exchanging fire. I wish they could have talked things out and then that resulted in uh, violence like this. Nicholas says the whole neighborhood is lucky more people were not injured. I mean, it's about the time uh, the bus, uh, the, the kids are getting off the bus, actually, uh, by a few minutes beforehand. The other person involved in the shooting, who neighbors are calling the boyfriend, was questioned by police, but so far, no arrests. Meanwhile, people on Linhaven Drive pray for their friend in the hospital. I just spoke with one of the daughters. Uh, of course, she's shooken up. She's just trying to comprehend and understand what's going on. Christopher Joseph knows both people involved. Did these two people, did they seem to have a history of violence and fighting? I honestly wouldn't know how to answer it, but at the same time, uh, you know, if you're shooting at one another, you obviously have to have some form of built up animosity to the point where it's sort of extreme. 13 News Now did approach the family of the woman who was shot, but they declined to speak with us. In Hampton, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now. The head of the Virginia State Police Division is stepping down. Colonel Steve Flaherty announced his retirement today. He has spent 42 years with state police, including 14 as superintendent. In a statement, Colonel Flaherty called serving with Virginia State Police the greatest honor of his life. Governor-elect Ralph Northam has appointed Lieutenant Colonel Gary Settle as the new superintendent. Now to the latest on the GOP tax plan. The Senate working on a vote 
on the sweeping reform bill after sending it back to the House to fix some errors. The hope is to get this bill passed tonight and on the president's desk tomorrow. But Democrats are still fighting the legislation. ABC's Kenneth Bowden has an update on the debate. And the truth will be in the paychecks of the American people that they'll see in a few months. The Senate debating late into the night. It is a terrible day for millions of hardworking people, but it is a great day for giant multinational corporations and billionaires. The GOP tax bill hit a procedural snafu. We're confident this will work, and we're prepared to take that argument to the American people next fall. This bill truly is a tax scam that will rob middle class families to pay for corporate tax breaks. The House did pass the bill. But Democrats say three provisions in the plan violated Senate rules. Those provisions taken out, which means the House must re-vote on the plan. GOP leaders are not expecting any problems. Today, we are giving the people of this country their money back. The bill met with applause and protest. President Trump close to his first major legislative win. The White House insists the billionaire president won't benefit personally from the tax plan. Uh, the president will likely take a big hit, uh, but on the business side, he could benefit. But the primarily and priority number one is middle class Americans. The plan permanently slashes the corporate rate from 35 to 21 percent. A new study shows Americans making $75,000 or less will see their taxes go up within a decade. Wealthy Americans will continue to see a tax cut. This is the worst bill to ever come to the floor of the House with stiff competition. Even after the House revote, there are questions about when President Trump will be able to sign the bill into law. He wanted it done before Christmas, but now the White House says because of the process, it may not be done until after the new year. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Washington. Leaky ceilings, bad floors, and an outdated HVAC system are just some of the problems with the Huntington Middle School building in Newport News. Now the school board is taking steps to figure out what to do about it. The school board unanimously voted to begin a study that will ultimately decide whether the school should remain open. Huntington, which was built in 1936, is in need of about $20 million in improvements. While the projected cost of a brand new school is estimated to be around $37 million. Dozens of former students and parents were at the meeting in support of keeping the school. I would like to see the school get the necessary repairs and return the students back to the school where they can learn in a safe environment. The superintendent will now spend the next few months deciding what should happen to the building. A final report is expected to be made by February 20th, 2018. New tonight, a trailer catches fire in Suffolk. Look right there. Firefighters sent us this picture from Camp Pond Road of the fire that started just before 5 o'clock tonight. No one was home, but the person living there will now have to stay with family elsewhere. The fire marshal's office is investigating. A driver in Norfolk ended up in a bit of a predicament this evening on Brambleton Avenue. Our sky view camera was rolling when the vehicle somehow got stuck in the median around 530. This is at 2nd Street across from The Hague. Right now, it is not clear why the car jumped the curb and went into the grass. Crews towed it away a few minutes later. Now to a story you'll see only on 13 News Now. A police officer and his family speaking out after their dog was shot during a home invasion. Zulu is out of surgery and recovering after an armed teen allegedly shot the dog at a home on Gravenhurst Drive in Virginia Beach. The pit bull chased after the burglars who had broken into the officer's home. The criminal took off but fired several shots, one bullet hitting Zulu. The family rushed the dog to the vet hoping to save the four-legged hero. He saved my daughter's life. He saved my husband's life. Happy. Now I could really go tell my daughter, uh, he coming home, and we know for sure he coming yeah. home. Tonight, the family says all four suspects are in custody. The family says they need help with Zulu's medical costs. If you would like to help, visit our website.